Hey guys, WCWA Bossman here, and I'm gonna do a quick video just about some things that I've heard going on in WWE from all the news that always happens, and talk about some things that I've wanted to do for a little bit now. But anyway, first off, however, I want to give a thank you and a shout out to those of you that watch the my videos as of late and commented on the one that I did addressing the negative comments and my disability and that negative comment on that one video that that one person made I really appreciate it thank you for the support keep watching my vids now let's get on with it um of course like everybody else I've heard that Bret Hart has signed a short-term deal with the WWE, and I haven't read up on it, to be honest. Obviously, I've heard all the speculation of what they're going to do, and how they're going to do it, and whatnot, and how they're going to do a Montreal storyline, and whatnot. And what I think about that is... You know, I've heard people say, you know, WWE is not being what they should by going back with these legends and giving these legend deals and having them on their shows. But when it comes to Bret Hart, to be honest with you, and he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, one of my idols, and... I grew up loving him, watching him, you know, everything else. And now, being a promoter, studying his style in the ring and the way he did promos and everything else. But, um, I do agree with this move on WWE and Bret's part because I think they do need to resolve those issues and if they can't do it personally out of the limelight of the camera they have to do this in the company on camera and you know what they might as well make some money and publicity off it and you know what I don't like the way Brett left WWE I don't like the way he was forced out of wrestling because of his concussion and his heart attack. So, you know, this is a more fitting ending for Brett as far as that goes. Granted, it's come a lot later than people would have expected it. But I applaud WWE for putting personal problems aside that they've had with Brett in the past and working on this and making Brett a part of World Wrestling Entertainment again and not forgetting his contributions and giving him the opportunity to be in front of the fans and to have some form of personal closure with it. Now do I think that this angle should involve Shawn Michaels or Triple H? No, I do not. I think this angle, whatever they do with Brett, should involve Brett, the New Heart Foundation, and Vince McMahon. I don't think it should involve Michaels, and I'll get on with what I think, why I think that right now. So. That's my thoughts on the whole Bret Hart situation. I hope it does well. I hope Bret gets closure from this. He finally moves on. And that it makes the company some money. And maybe does good ratings. We'll see. Um, as far as Shawn Michaels. I like the idea of a Shawn Michaels Undertaker rematch at WrestleMania 26 which was alluded to on Raw by Michaels 
this past Monday. That was one of the segments I paid attention to. I think they should do it again because you know what? They had the most amazing match at WrestleMania 25. And if they start this program now and book it to go straight through to WrestleMania and do another amazing match like that again, they'll, they'll no doubt in my mind, it'll be the best and biggest booked angle in wrestling history. And knowing Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, they will surpass the match of last year, or this year, if you want to call it that. So, it's going to happen. And another thing that bothers me is I see all these videos about from these people, and they talk about, you know, wrestlers who are past their prime, not letting it go, or what, whatever. And one of the guys they always bring up, they always bring him up, is Shawn Michaels. Now, I'm not saying this because of Shawn Michaels, Mark, or anything like that. I'm saying it because it's true. Shawn Michaels, regardless of his age, has always been and always will be one of the best wrestlers ever, bar none. And even after a back injury, he comes back and he's doing what he's doing. And he's still one of the guys, one of the top guys in WWE. He can still go. He's still got it. So I don't get where people rag on him and rag on Triple H. I know there's a lot of political baggage with Triple H, but you know what? Triple H as well has still got it. He's got it with the fans. He's got it in the ring. Sometimes they can be a little sloppy, but they've been in the business forever. They're not going to have great nights every night. So that's one of my biggest issues. But it's going to, I think that right now WWE is in a good place. TNA's really got to work on their stuff and pick up their game. But anyway, that's my take on some of that. This is WCWA Boss Man, and I'll catch you all next time.